Well, when a 19-year-old Evag fails to return home from India, her parents must reunite to find her. They journey from Auckland to the Himalayan villages, encountering a tight-lipped expat community and some unhelpful and helpful local police. This is the story of feature film Beyond the Known World. And we are pleased to welcome to the cafe two of its stars, Sia Trockenheim and Chelsea <laughs> Preston Crowley. Yeah. Yeah. Can we? I mean, this movie. Can, can we say has it got a happy ending or not happy ending? I mean, what happens? Do they find well, their daughter? I'm just going to put it like this: it's open um, for interpretation. Ooh, yes, that um, is a good answer. Can't okay, <laughs> give anything answer. away, but it's been fascinating to hear the response. Well, I just wanted to say before we have a look at the clip that I think this is one of the best New Zealand movies I've ever seen. Uh, from the Ooh. moment I sat down and watched it, I felt the tension, I felt the sadness, I thought it was beautifully shot, beautifully acted, and uh, a credit to everyone involved. So that's Thank my you, review right? of it. But for you watching, to get to know a little more about the movie, let's take a look at this clip. She decided to stay longer. She wouldn't do that without telling us. You don't know your daughter so well as you think. One girl is missing, and one girl is dead. You think you can control her, but you can't. She's freed herself of you. <laughs> Nobody wanted you to find Eva alive more than I did. She's not dead! Oh, <laughs> I think that gets across sort of sometimes the movie can feel quite sinister as well. Yeah. So mm. this movie was filmed mostly in India. Um, so, yeah, so you were there for eight weeks? Yeah, yeah. What so it's, we, we spent um, eight weeks in India, the, predominantly at the foothills of the Himalayas. And then uh, we travelled further north to the border of Tibet. But we also shot the movie for four days, I think it was, in Auckland, out west in Piha. It's yeah. quite a different setting. Yeah, different quite a different setting. setting. Yeah. 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 And Chelsea, you know, when, when, when you sit there and you look at just that clip we just seen, um, a cast of extras, isn't there? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> um, Big budget, Mike. What was it like working in India? Because I suspect Amazing. that... Was, was, tell me about that experience, because it would have been quite spiritual, but at the same time quite chaotic. Yeah, yeah. I think we all had to sort of relearn... Um, you know how to make a movie because it was a little bit different this time and people's idea of um, what certain jobs were was different even we had an Indian crew and a New Zealand crew and we sort of worked together so it was like really sort of reinventing the wheel a little bit sometimes I mean we, they did some of them did, didn't actually speak, speak a single word of English and we didn't speak Indian obviously so and also culturally it was really interesting to sort of figure each mm. other out and I wasn't sure can you hug the girls or you know we had we had female um, dresses and, and costume ladies and all that. Can you high five them in the morning? So, you yeah. know, we took a step mm. back in the beginning and then we realised they were taking the piss out of us. <laughs> Straight away and making jokes and they were high fiving us and giving us a hard time. So it was just lovely. Oh, it's such a privilege. And you also come across in the movie an uh, uh, expat community who have gone and really lost themselves in India. I mean, you play an ex mm. you play a Danish backpacker, don't you? Yeah, Astrid yeah. in this. Yeah. Um, what was that like? Were these real people that we've seen? There, like oh, these yeah. are full on hippies, yeah. let's be honest. And a lot of like a lot of my scenes, um, obviously we had, you know, um, extras that were sort of those people and, and you know, there's a trance party in it and it was just filled with um, all these people yeah. who were really like the character I was playing. But you've got your fake dreadlocks on and, and they've got their real ones. Yeah, they yeah. Do, there yeah. was a lot of like, you know, where are you from? Well, um, I, I've spent the most time in Japan, so I would say Japan, but actually <laughs> um, maybe, you know, like, mm, wow. like you're obviously American. <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, there, it was a real scene, definitely. Mm. Yeah. And, and a beautiful collaboration between India and New Zealand. Yeah. It's the first time that's actually happened, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Um, and hopefully more to come. Um, we have got so much to learn from them and vice versa. But I think, yeah. Mm. You I'll tell you something else I wanted to know. When I yeah. watched the movie, one of the questions that runs through my head is, is it based on a true story? Because I think people will probably think that when they watch it. Can you tell us a bit about I how it came about? It's, it's a common story, I think, in, in that 
part of India. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. What was interesting is that I first received the script mm -hmm. and I read it through once and I thought, okay, it's a story about a girl who, who goes missing in India and the parents have to go and find her. And then I thought, I'm going to read it again and you know, pay, pay even more attention. And then I realised it's more than that. It's about a, a deconstructed couple. They're divorced, mm. they don't get along. What do you do when times get tough? And you know, you, you need to put all your differences aside. And then we went to India and we started to talk to the locals, to the hippies, to all the, the people who now live there who, yeah, come from other places mm. than India. And we realised very quickly this story that we are telling is one of thousands. Mm. People yeah. go missing constantly and mm. people like the couple that David Wenham and myself were portraying, we're just... Quite common there. It's well, it's oh, it's so good. good. Beyond the Known World is in cinemas right now, so you should make sure you go and see it. Yeah, congratulations and well done to your entire team. It is an awesome movie. Okay. Yeah.